Welcome to Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. I'm Michelle Fitzgerald, aka Fitzy, and I'm an independent advisor for Creative Memories Scrapbooking, and I'm here to help you make your scrapbooks fabulous. All right, so this past, uh, I believe, Thursday or Friday, we had a new secret box. So today, what I thought I would do is show you what's in that secret box, and then I created one of the sketches from the product in that box, and I'm going to show you what I created, and I'll do another real quick one with you as well. All right, so let me get over to my workspace, and we will begin. Here we go. Oops, I'm a little crooked here, so let me fix my little sign. <laughs> All right, so this is um, the secret box number three. Now, this was the premium box. So this is the box that had everything. If you own the border maker system, you want this box, the essential one or the premium one. It doesn't matter. This border maker cartridge comes in either one, and it's called Diamond Windows Chain. And it is such a beautiful and easy to use one. When I first saw it, it looked very intricate to me. And I thought, ooh, this one's going to be tricky. But it wasn't. It was so smooth. It worked really, really nicely. So you definitely want this BMC. And you can only get it if you get a box. All right. And I believe the boxes are still available on the site, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Now, the next thing they gave us, and I haven't had time to play with this one yet, but it's called Gem Tones Embroidered Mini Card Kit. And they actually even give you a needle and thread. So I'm going to have a little fun with this. I'm not a big sewer, but I am going to give it a whirl. Just haven't gotten to it yet. I'll let you know how I do. <laughs> Then we have, we actually got three paper packs. So we got the Gem Tones Sampler Pack. Again, this is the premium box. So the essential box did not get all of these, okay? So we got the Gem Tones Sampler Pack, the Laser Paper Pack, and a designer paper pack. And the papers in these packs are just, they're gorgeous. There's no other way to say it. Um, and when I did my box opening with my group in our Facebook group, what I noticed was this could really be used for heritage or any kind of a, I don't know, like a date night out type thing, anything about love and family. I think this will work really well. It's beautiful papers. This being my favorite sheet right here. And apparently a few of my other people agreed. <laughs> this is our favorite. So I'm just gonna quickly show you what's in this pack. All right, we've got this beautiful floral print and on the back side, we have a really pretty design. It works really well with this floral print. And it has some of the peachy and blue tones in it that are in this floral. So it's really well done. Um, nice little geometric print, I guess you'd say. And then this is the floral print that you're going to see throughout the pack. And this one is the dark green. And on the reverse side, we have just this pretty little um, gray little, I'm not sure what these are. Hold on, let me look at them close. I don't know, they almost have like a, a star type effect, but they're not stars, but it's really pretty, very delicate. That's what I like about it. Now, this print is a little busy, but it does have that heritage feel, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to actually use some of this in today's layout. So you can see um, a little with some of the busier prints goes a long way, but works really well too. All right. The back side of this, I think, is gorgeous. And I'm not sure how it shows up on the camera, but it's actually blue. All right. I, it might show up as kind of grayish right now if you're looking at it on the camera, but it's really blue and it's a beautiful 
full shade of blue, two shades of blue, really. There's a little bit of a darker tone in the background. And then the floral type print is a lighter blue. Very, very well done, very beautiful. Um, and I think somebody was saying the other night, some of these papers remind them of um, older wallpaper. <laughs> some really pretty wallpaper prints, right? So here's more of that floral type print. And this is in two shades of blue. Both are pretty dark shades, but one's a little bit darker than the other. And on the other side, we have more blue. And it's kind of, I feel like this looks like a medallion type print. It's really pretty up close, but I think in the camera, it almost looks black or gray, but it is a really pretty blue. Oh, when I hold it away, it looks more like what it actually is. It's a really pretty blue. Um, and people who know me and know me well know I like my blues. <laughs> and I don't mean blues as in sad because I'm a pretty happy person. <laughs> All right, so here is our green leafy paper, very pretty, very versatile. And on the back side, we have some peachy tones, similar to the peach that's in the first print that I showed you, that beautiful floral print. So this is really, really nice. Everything kind of coordinates well. Um, this is another one of those busy tones. Um, but it, I think it's a really fun print. And I know it doesn't show up well on camera, but not only is there black, but that peachy tone is underlining all the black. And that really makes it look pretty cool, but it doesn't show up on camera the way I, I see it right now. So I apologize for that, but look at this beautiful peach floral print. I think I had it sideways there. Let me change that. Um, it's just gorgeous, right? So these are the papers that are in the designer paper pack in the secret box. Um, definitely worth getting if you have not purchased, all right? And they only come in the secret box. Now we got laser cut paper pack. Is that what it, well, I mean, yep laser cut paper pack and I'm just opening this now so you can see it um but these are quite beautiful um they are double-sided so it's up to you to pick which one you'd like to use so again like when I look at this I get that heritage feel let me um pull this sheet out right look how pretty that is and then I don't know if it shows up, but there's a little pattern on it that from the distance, you can't see it. And the pattern is that peachy tone, which I'm not sure if that's showing up in the camera. And on the reverse side is a beautiful blue. Um, and one somebody the other night suggested we could even cut this in half and you definitely could. And I think that would make quite an impression on a page layout. So really nicely done. This next one, immediately, for all of you who celebrate Christmas, do you not see a Christmas wreath here? <laughs> and I'm feeling like all these little circles could be, maybe the larger ones could be photos and the smaller ones could be little red berries. <laughs> How cute would that look, right? And then you could put a nice little photo in the middle here, or maybe it would be a title page. You could put a title here. So there are some options with that. And you can do the darker green. And then on the other side, there's a light green. So play around with this. I think you could have a lot of fun with that one. And then this one I just think is beautiful. All right. So, um, oh, and what I meant to mention on this, and look at these two together. How pretty is that? You could totally do those together, right? And let's see the darker one. Ooh, that could work too. Oh, lots of fun with this. Um, the custom cutting system, I think if you use the smaller circle pattern with either the green or the blue blade, you should be able to get something that will fit in the larger circles on this one. I haven't had time to play around with the smaller ones yet, but hopefully something will work out for those as well. But I just wanted to let you know that. And then this one also has a reverse side, so it's a deep, darker blue with a floral type print. Um, and on the reverse side, it's a lighter blue. So 
again, these are just so well done. And I do get a heritage feel with all of this. And I don't know if that was their goal or not, but that's what I feel. <laughs> and it's all good. All right. And then we have, let's put these to the side here. The Gem Tones Sampler Paper Pack. Now, all of the papers in this pack are, are in our uh, current product line. So I think this might have been an extra goodie that CM decided to put into our boxes. But it has um, two sheets of dark sea green, two sheets of white, and then two sheets of parakeet shimmer, two sheets of shell shimmer, and two sheets of starry night shimmer. So this top sheet here is the starry night. Um, but these are all right now <clears throat> excuse me, available in our current product line. All right. <clears throat> then we got this very nice sticker pack. And they're all border strip stickers. So we can have a lot of fun with these. All right. So we have some leaves. This one has some hearts on it. Look at those peachy golden toned hearts. Um, some fans and just some floral and leafy type prints, all right? So there's a lot you can have fun with in this secret box. And then the last little goodie that we got in our box this time was the Gem Tone Embellishment Pack. And let me see if I can get a piece of that paper here. And I'm gonna move the box, see if I can get some of these embellishments. And then I can't wait to show you what I made and what we're gonna make. <laughs> I'm so excited. But just so you can get an idea of everything that came in this box. So if you were hemming and hawing and you weren't sure, oh, am I gonna use it? Am I gonna like it? Well, I happen to love this box. I think they did a phenomenal job with it. My personal opinion, but look at these beautiful, you get some decorative journaling boxes. I'm just trying to move these leaves over. Some leaves, some flowers, some hearts, little titles. Um, there's just so much you can do with everything in this box. Um, I think they knocked it out of the park this time around. And I'm glad that I was able to get a few. Um, I do have one or two left in stock and they are still available on the website. So feel free to either let me know, I can uh, mail one out to you or you can just go to the website. You can go to your advisor's website if you have a fabulous advisor. If you don't have a fabulous advisor, I would love to be yours. You can check out my website, and that is www.creativememories.com forward slash user forward slash Michelle Fitz. And I'm just trying to concentrate a little bit here. But anyway, you can get the idea of what came in this little pack. Excuse me. All right. Just trying to help you see some of these embellishments, but it's a really pretty pack. So don't miss out. And honestly, if you have the border maker system, you really need to get this box. <laughs> All right. So that's, I'm not going to torture anybody any longer with telling them why they need to get the box. <laughs> Let me show you what I made. This might help you um, decide. So I'm just gonna put this down back here. My little dog just came to rest behind me. She's all excited. So here's what I created using a sketch from the sketchbook. And let me find my sketch. Is this beautiful? So there's that statement piece, that beautiful floral print that I showed you in the beginning. Um, 
and just, oops, one of my photos slipped. Let me just fix that. There we go. Um, but that's this beautiful little sketch. So everything on this page, with the exception of my little gemstone, um, these little flowers have holes in them and they just beg to have a gemstone. Let me show you what I mean. So look at here, it's got a hole. So I put my little gemstone right there and doesn't that look pretty, right? So totally worked, loved it. Um, so anyway, this is from the um, sketchbook and I'm just trying to find the page number. So if anybody, oh, did I not? Page 102 in the sketchbook. So if you have this sketchbook, 110 scrapbooking ideas and sketches, you can open up to page 102. We are doing this sketch here, okay? Now, I'm also gonna use more products from the secret box just to show you what you can do with all of the products that are in this box. But here is the border maker cartridge, the diamond windows chain, just a beautiful element on a page, right? And this is a laser cut page. I cut it in half and put half on one side, half on the other. Now the sketch did not call for this, but I wanted to use it and I felt like this works really well. So I went with it. <laughs> All right, now my photos, I was able to fit six photos on here. Um, the white cardstock denotes the actual photo size. These are like my photo placeholders. So these two large ones are four by six photos. These two photos here are, let me think about this now, they're four and three quarters of an inch by three and a quarter inch, okay? The mats are five by three and a half, all right? Or three and a half by five, however you like to do it. <laughs> this photo is a four by four photo. So my um, mat here is a four and a quarter inch square. This photo here is a three inch square. So I made this mat a three and a quarter inch square. All right, and this one is the same as this. So the photo, the mat on this is five by three and a half by five or five by three and a half. And the photo is four and three quarters by three and a quarter. All right, so if you have any questions, let me know, put it in the comments and I'll, I'd will i be happy to list measurements out for you and whatnot. Um, I was gonna label them, but I got a little distracted, had a lot going on today, so. Let me just fix this, it keeps sliding. All right, so I'm gonna take this sketch away and we're gonna create with more products from the secret box. And I'll bring this back so you can see it again, so don't worry. Now, if you've never done the plus sign sketch design, all you need is your sketch, your uh, zero centering ruler and a pencil. Um, if you don't have a zero centering ruler, use whatever ruler you have at home. I like the zero centering ruler because I think it's easier to work with. Now, when I first look at the sketch, immediately what jumps out at me, again, I'm basing this on a 12 by 12 page, and this is a two page spread. So I have two 12 by 12 pages that I'm looking at here, okay? Um, but the first thing I notice is this half of the page and this half of the page on either side, that's definitely six inches because it's half the page. So right away, I know this back piece here is gonna be a six inch wide by 12 inch long piece. So I'm just gonna put six by 12. And that's before I even do any measuring. Okay, so now I know that the center of my line of, um, I don't even have to measure this because I can just go down that center line because I know that's the halfway mark of the page. So let me just go ahead and draw that line. 
Okay. Then I'm just going to measure on one side and you can measure on either side, whatever you like. And I just wanna find the center point of this page. And I think I've got it. So I'm just gonna make a little mark. And you know, it doesn't have to be exact. We just need to get in the ballpark. This is strictly just to help us figure out measurement, all right? So once you have your mark, just draw your line. And now our plus sign is there, all right? And I'm gonna hold this up so you all can see that on camera. So I have a plus sign on this page and I have a plus sign on this page. Now, if you haven't seen me do this before, the reason I do the plus sign is now I know that each square on each page is a six by six inch square, no matter where it is. These are six by six inch squares. So I have four on each page, okay? That's going to help me track down measurements so much easier. All right. So already, um, I know this big, these two big strips here are six by 12. Um, I already told you the measurements for my mats. So we're good there. Now, over here, I have this big border. And then I have another border strip. Now, this strip here could be a sticker strip. It could be... Uh, border maker cartridge strip. It could be whatever you want it to be, a laser cut border strip. Um, for this, I am doing um, a border maker cartridge. I'm gonna use that diamond window border maker cartridge that came in the box, all right? So I'm gonna use it for that and for this over here, okay? And I, if you notice, I also have a thin border over here as well. And this color gray matches the base part of this border over here. So I know that these two are the same paper. So now that I know that I have six inches here, I'm gonna give this base, I'm gonna make it about three inches, all right? And I'm just kind of, um, oops. I'm just kind of figuring it out here and again, it doesn't have to be exact. We just have to make sure we can figure out something that will work. And then if you can see, there's a little bit of a border around the top layer. So I'm just gonna take a quarter inch off all around. So that'll be a two and three quarter inch strip. And then I'll take a quarter inch off the bottom or the top, one or the other. I don't need to do it on both just to get that all over border. And then over here, oops, and I forgot this little piece right here. There's a thin shade of a different gray, which means there's another border. I'm going to make this because it's so small. I'm going to make it a quarter inch border here. All right. And over here, we have that same little piece. So I'm going to make that one a quarter inch as well. Now this one, um, it doesn't have the top layer that see this, you know, kind of a, a not as dark as that one, but it's a gray, it's a dark gray, but it's not on this one. However, I did bring this color over here just because I loved that paper so much and I wanted to carry it across the page. So I am gonna do that again. So I'm gonna make this bottom layer here three quarters of an inch and the top layer on that will be a half inch. All right, so now that I have this all figured out, I'm gonna start cutting. And again, what I love about these sketches, once you figure out your measurements, you're good to go, just get it done, right? <laughs> all right, now, when I chose my papers, I had to label them all because I was getting a little confused. I gotta, I can't lie. So I'm calling this my showpiece. And this is going to be those two six inch wide by 12 inches long um, strips that are going to be pretty much the central point of my two page spread. 
So I call it the showpiece. I think other people call it that too. I probably heard that name somewhere. I'm not sure, but it works. <laughs> so I'm sticking to it. All right. So here's one paper cut and good to go. And I'm going to just leave my label so I don't forget because it is easy to forget. Now, this is what I'm going to use for my um, my little border strips, those quarter of an inch strips, the real thin ones. So I'm going to cut two of those because I have one on each page. And um, I should probably to cut a quarter inch strip, just to be clear, because I know people get a little confused on this. Just get my multi-purpose tool. So a lot of people think that it's the edge of the gray mat, but it's actually to the edge of the white here. There's like a little crevice here. You should be lining all the way up to that crevice to get a full quarter of an inch cut. All right, so I'm going to line up there for two of these. It's a little trickier to line up to it because it's not as easy to see. But once you, uh, you figure it out, you're good. So there's one. And if you're using a directional print with your strips, make sure you are cutting it in the direction that, um, so I'm cutting it vertically because I want them to be vertical on the page. If I wanted these to be horizontal, then I would cut them horizontally. And honestly, because these strips are so small, as you can see, the pattern's really not gonna show up on it anyway. Um, but just in case anyone had a question, all right. Now, on this one, this is going to be my top of the borders. So my first one, the larger one, is going to be two and three quarter inches. So I'm going to make a two and three quarter inch cut. And my second one is going to be a half inch cut. So when I'm doing a small cut like that, I always go back over to the right hand side of the trimmer because my paper is better supported on the side, the extra that's hanging over there. And it helps to get a more accurate measurement on your cut, right? So here are the two top layers to the border. And then the back side of this, I'm going to use the border maker cartridge. So I'll punch that in a minute. I'm just going to um, put that to the side. And then this is the base piece for my little borders here. So my first piece is going to be cut at three inches. Oops. And my second piece is going to be cut at three quarters of an inch. So I can go back to the side and line up at the three quarter of an inch mark. So 0.75 or three quarters of an inch. All right. This paper I can put aside. And then I can put my trimmer away because my last two pieces, they're going to be my base for the whole layout. So I'm just going to leave those there for now and get this paper into my border maker system. And I'm going to punch two borders, one for each 12 by 12 page that I'm working on here. Um, I did have a question this week, and I should mention, uh, somebody asked me about this yellow strip. Well, I do have a video that tells you why I have that yellow strip there. So I'm going to link that video to this one so you can see after why I do that. And I think it will mean more if you see how it's used versus me just telling you. All right.
I love this border maker cartridge. Is this just so pretty? Love it. That's the other side. So I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to cut one more. And then we're just putting it all together. I'm telling you, isn't that pretty cool? These plus sign design sketches, I'm telling you, it's just so easy. And that's what we love, right? <laughs> I know a few of you have been putting things in the chat about loving quick, easy two page spreads. And I'm right there with you, let me tell you. So I tried to get that out there. Yeah, it's just a little squiggly thing I gotta pull off. All right, so now I have my borders cut. This is extra, so I can put that off to the side. Let me get all these little scraps off and then I can start tacking down. I'm not going to create the mats and all of that for this because I just want you to get the basic idea of the layout and then you can go and decorate as you want. All right, let's get all of this. And then the video won't be two hours. Because <laughs> I know everybody has so much time to watch videos, right? Okay, let me move all of this over here. And no, just set my papers up on my mat. So I'm just centering them on my mat. So that way everything will hopefully be very even. And now before I do any cutting, uh, I'm sorry, uh, adhering, I'm just going to put everything where I believe I want it to go. And then oh, and you know, there's one thing I forgot to do. These two top pieces need to be cut at the bottom too. So let me just do those real quick. But look how quick and easy this page comes together, right? Now this is gonna look a little different because I didn't use a laser cut page for the decorative part, but I still think it looks pretty darn good. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is cut both of these just a quarter of an inch from the, the length um, because we wanna get that nice border around all the edges. One. And do you see now how that busy print really frames this beautiful pattern? Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oops. Right. And we're gonna do the same thing over here with our little skinny border. And again, it just frames it like so. All right, so that's it in a heartbeat. Um, it's not too complicated, it's pretty simple. And now you get to see some of the product that is in the secret box. <laughs> I love the secret box and I believe there is one left to come out for this year. Um, so I can't wait for the next one. And I'm just gonna quickly tack these pieces down just so you get that sense. just so you can see. And remember, I love it when you go in the comments and say hello from wherever it is you're from. I love that. It's so fun to see where everybody's watching from. All 
All right. So these two big pieces. Um, and on my other layout, I did use, um, let me think, what did I use? I used navy cardstock for my mats. I thought the navy really popped it out. And I'm going to put that layout back up here before I sign off so you can take another look at it. All right. This is really pretty. And when I'm putting this border down, I leave about an eighth of an inch on the side, um, just to let a little bit of the base page show through. There are some really cool papers in this pack. Oh, I wanted to do this this way, so sorry. You know, it's a little detail, and if I don't do it, it'll bug me. It won't bug anybody else. It'll just bug me. <laughs> Is anybody else like that, where they have to do these silly little things because it's not going to bother anybody else. Nobody else is going to notice it. It's just going to bother yourself, right? Well, that's me. And it's just lots of different little layers all coming together to make a beautiful page. All right, we're almost done. That page is done. Let me do a little tape runner on this one. These skinny strips take a little more time because they're just so little. <laughs> Again, just going to leave probably about an eighth of an inch or so. But you know, it's actually just personal preference. So you can leave as much or as little as you want. Because after all, it's your page. All right. Oops. This. Okay. And then I just have to do my border start. All right, so there it is. And then, you know, I could probably make some quick mats here. Let's see, we can maybe black will work at all. I'll just make it all stand out a bit, just so you get the idea. So I'm gonna do, So I'm making a four and a quarter by six and a quarter inch mat. And then I'm going to make uh, a four and a quarter inch square. And I'm going to do another four and a quarter inch strip. Now, if you don't know what your photos are or what sizes they're going to be, and you don't like to cut them ahead of time, you don't have to do this part. This is just me. Um, I have a pretty good idea of what size I'll make my photos, but you may not know what you want to do, and that's fine. So don't feel any pressure. <laughs> And 
then let's see. Do I have enough here? Oh, I think I might. So that would be five. That would be five. So I have pretty much all my photo mats. So I'm not going to put my photo placeholders on these, but at least you can get an idea of what the page is going to look like when you add your photos. All right. Oh, I think I have a small square too. This should be three, four. I have a small square on the other side. Right. So that should go there like so. And this over here. This one went up here. This one's going to go over here. All right, so there is the layout. And then I used this area here as my title. Let me get my, the one I actually did before we did this. All right. Is this pretty? <laughs> I hope you all like it. It's just, um, I think it's great to know different ways to use the products that come in the secret boxes. All right. So um, this is Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks. And I do have a Facebook group. It is called FRQ Blitz Girls Scrapbooking Group. And you are welcome to join. We just ask that you answer the questions. I think we have three or maybe four questions or agree to the rules, whatever it is. And then we can approve you to join. Um, we are going to be starting a three-part series. I believe it starts on September 20th, um, going over photo organization and power layouts. So if that's something, it's a free class. We're just going to live stream into our Facebook group and it won't be more than an hour per night. And it's just three classes, one a month. So we'll have one in September, one in October and one in November. We'll give you instruction and then you have a month to go ahead and do whatever we talked about. And then the next month when we meet again, you'll get more instruction on the next step. So we're hoping this will be helpful to people and you are welcome to join us in our little, um, we haven't done this kind of thing before. We, we do a subscription group, but we haven't done anything in our Facebook group um, just like this. And it's for free. So we just want to help people get organized and get going. All right. So feel free to join our group. And if you liked this video, I hope you'll hit the subscribe button and if you, and, and also the like button too. <laughs> it's always helpful for me to know what you like. So when you hit the like button, I do pay attention, <laughs> just so you all know. All right. So I try to give you more of what you like and uh, hopefully it's all helpful. And you can always email me with any questions or concerns at Fitzy's Fabulous Scrapbooks at gmail.com. And I'll put all my links in the description. So you, if you need to get in touch with me or if you don't have a fabulous advisor and you're looking for one, I would love to be yours. So my website will be, uh, I'll put the link to that as well. And I'm always looking to add people uh, to come join our team. We love having fun and that's what we've been doing. Um, it's great to get our product at a discount and it's fun to meet other people that have the same interests. So if you're interested and you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me about starting your own creative memories business or maybe you just want the discount. <laughs> um, if you're uh, an advisor who's signed on under home office and you're looking for somebody to 
um, grow with. I would love to help you, whether it's just you want to have a hobby or you want to have a business. Um, I help both. So I'm happy to have anyone who wants to join in. All right. So that's my, my big thing for today. <laughs> and I hope you all enjoyed it. And um, please keep in mind, this is today is September 11th. So I would like to uh, mention, you know, let's keep the families and the victims and the families of the victims in our thoughts and prayers, uh, not only today, but as we go through uh, this month of September, it's a hard month for a lot of people. So uh, thank you all once again for joining me and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.